Okay, so we're in this video, we're going to cover the uh, trans cleanup standard and trans cleanup aggressive, which is um, shorthand for uh, transparency cleanup standard and aggressive. So um, one of the scenarios here is you're going to probably get from uh, clients from time to time some pretty terrible artwork. And that's kind of what I wanted to show you here. So this is not really great artwork. There's some weird color stuff going on. Uh, but we we some we have to move pretty fast sometimes, and we just kind of need to get stuff to print. And if your customer kind of sent you crappy artwork, and they're okay with printing it that way, then I guess that's what you got to do. Uh, so let's get started. So I first want to before I hit these buttons, I'm going to drop in a garment color so you can kind of see, and we'll investigate this artwork a little bit. So I'm going to hit the add garment color button, and you'll see this is a pretty low resolution JPEG looks like something grabbed off the internet and we've got some really fuzzy edges so if I zoom in here you'll see there's a lot of pixelization it's it's fading um, it's just terrible it's it really is kind of terrible um, so let's yeah let's see even over here um, we're probably gonna have some issues here uh, but we want to make sure that this is um, we, we don't want to have a whole lot of loss because what this function is going to do is find transparent pixels to a certain percentage and basically remove them and, and try to sharpen the artwork so that if you're doing a white toner or DTF print, you're going to be able to output it properly with an underbase. So let's go ahead and run through the function. Um, so with this artwork selected, uh, let's start with the trans cleanup standard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the background so we can kind of see what happens in the process. We're going to want to keep an eye on this area here um, to see how much loss um, we have, but let's go ahead and get started. So with that layer that I want to process selected, I'm going to hit the trans cleanup standard. So again, disclaimer, uh, it depends on the speed of your computer, um, how fast this is going to work. So. You'll see, uh, it's it's we've got some some color issues obviously with this artwork, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's it's kind of cleaned it up. We haven't had a tremendous amount of loss, but let's go ahead and turn on our um, background and see what happens. So you'll see now, we've got this really nice crispy edge. It has kind of choked it back a little bit, so you'll notice there's a little bit of rounding. It's not going to hold really sharp edges too great. Uh, but you know this sometimes we just have to get stuff out, and this is a great function. So um, here, here's that completely process now. So what I'm going to do is let's do the second one. And um, I just, I'm basically deleting the result from that first standard one. And we'll do the more aggressive one now. So let's go ahead and click that button. So you can see now we've gotten a little closer. Um, there's, there's, it's definitely a little more aggressive on, on uh, how much it's pulled back. But again, I still think a pretty fantastic result. We'll be able to underbase this in our RIP software and get it out to print. So like I've said before in previous videos, it really, you want to make sure you're taking your time with your artwork and, uh, you know, garbage in, garbage out. But this is a great function to kind of tighten things up. And now let's go ahead and we'll show you a really bad example of what can happen. And, you know, even using these functions where you have to kind of be careful. So what I'm going to do is... Um, we'll delete this, we'll delete our results, and we'll go back to the original artwork. So let's let's do a knockout black on this artwork um, first, and then we'll run the trans cleanup. So let's go ahead and hit the button. It's going to run through the process again. And now you'll see this is, you know, it's ran through great. Let's add our garment color in, and you'll see that looks great. Um, we can half tone this, but, you know, this, this is text. We kind of really don't want to half tone text if we, if we don't have to. Um, so now let me show you, it's probably going to be a pretty terrible result. And the reason why, as you can see, this, these pixels right here are completely dependent on transparency. With the black removal, it does exactly what it says. It's going to remove um, the black influence from pixels. So let's go ahead and now hit trans cleanup standard. Uh, I'm going to turn on my background so we can watch that in action. So it's going to process it and you'll see it's probably going to punch a hole here. Yep, sure it did. So, you know, it's if that's the result you want, great. But, you know, most people want their logo to stay the same. So if I kind of toggle the original artwork back on, um, that might be cool for you. Um, but my advice is, you know, 
you might want to add some backing to it or do a combination of stuff maybe even mask out but uh, that's the function there um, it's gonna like I said pick up any transparent pixels and it's gonna kind of choke them back and remove them so it can be ready to go so if this is the result you're looking for you should be good to go it's, it'll kind of help help you there um, sometimes it is exactly what you want but um, yeah that is the trans cleanup standard and aggressive so just keep in mind with standard it's less of a choke back on the artwork or aggressive is gonna choke it quite a bit uh, so that that basically covers it um, for now. If there's any more videos after this, that, that that's because there's probably an update. Uh, you, if you've purchased the kit, you've got lifetime updates. I'm always looking to the community for any sort of suggestions uh, to um, either add new functions or tweak stuff. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. Um, that basically covers it. And thank you again for your purchase. And I hope this uh, basically covered everything for you. If you have any questions, please reach out pixelmoshpit at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.